Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. We're going to uh, continue on. Well, we're going to try continuing on with the morning of life. We're up to uh, episode four. Okay, we're going to do the morning of life season one episode four, vocation and money. Vocation and money. Uh, I haven't seen any other reactions that go past in the fourth episode. This might be the last one we going to be able to get get up there. I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get this one on. I'm going to watch it, see what happens, and if this one gets on, you know, I'll try it number five. Uh, I'll give it a shot. But this one, like I said, most other people can get this far. I've had trouble getting as far as some of they had, but, you know, so far I've been kind of getting them through. We're going to see what Carl's up to in this one. It's, uh, what's it called? It's vocation and money. So, work and money. Let's get on with it there. Uh, be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's get started. It's something that you want to spend your life doing, isn't it? What's your vocation in life? I don't know. How do you know that you want to do that thing that you pick? Say if you're known as like one of the best surgeons, you can separate Siamese twins and do brain stuff and all that. If you want to knock that on the head, it's harder to walk away, isn't it? If you go into the head man and go, I've had enough of this, I'm bored of separating people and working on brains, there's me notice. They'd be going, oh, you can't leave. You're the, one of the best surgeons in the world. Oh, yeah, but I've had enough, I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah, but, you, but there's, there's only a few of you. You've got a gift, please stay. And they sat there you know, doing brain work and he doesn't even want to. I can't think of anything worse than not being able to get out of something because you're so good at it. So in a way, just never be really good at anything because <laughs> it would end up holding you back, I think. the day it's your brain isn't it that decides what your vocation is going to be and mind oh, <laughs> mine hasn't got a clue my brain's just full of passwords that's all it feels like at times i think that's why the brain's gone smaller it's just full of nonsense up there this is a cerebrex i'm uh, using this every day and they improve memory power 130 percent just after 20 minutes. <laughs> Doctor? Yeah? Is, is this definitely on? Yes, on. Now on. But I'm not feeling anything. No. <laughs> I'm inventing, therefore, my brain is very, very important. How many hours are you sleeping per day? If possible, nine. Bad for brain. In my case, Usually, four hours. How many times you have a meal? Four. I have only one meal per day. If you eat four times, bad for brain. There are many things here, <laughs> but everything good for your brain. If he's saying he picks food that's good for his brain, well, it's my brain that's picking the food that I eat. So obviously it's food that he wants me to have. <laughs> it's not that there's another bit of me saying, oh, I'll have a sausage. My brain's telling me that. So in a way, is uh, everything I eat is brain food. I've got no say in it, have I? Is, is brain sort of hung, you know, it's hungry for knowledge and what have you. Mine just wants sausages or fish fingers. You're not eating, you're not sleeping. So what, what, what's, what's it all I'm, for? I'm concentrating to create. When do you see your wife if you're constantly working? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. One day. <laughs> She's also very busy. <laughs> I shall show you new invention. All right. This is future car. <laughs> Are they popular? Not yet. <laughs> this is a putter which improves score very much. And another my invention is a floppy disk. Well, that must be your most successful invention, That's mostly. right, yes. The recent invention is this. 
The, the phone holder. Smart hand. Smart hand. Yes. <laughs> Well, I don't like swimming, do I? I'm not very good at it. Then he tells me what you have to do is basically get close to death to come up with a good idea. It's another <laughs> part of brain training. <laughs> Jump in a pool, stick your head under and hold your breath for as long as you can and apparently your brain wakes up. I'm not getting anything. <laughs> not everyone can have a good brain. Some of us are numb nuts. In fact, most of the world are numb nuts. And that's how it is. We can't all be geniuses and it can't, the world wouldn't work if we were. And there's a lot of shitty jobs in the world that need doing. The surgeon thing, I told you, it's great messing about with people's brains, but at some point you're scooping dead brain out and sticking it in a bin. Who's emptying that bin? So stop aiming high and just do something useful. How long was that? That was about a minute, a minute and a half. I've never done that long. What'd you come up with then? Nothing, I just was amazed at how long I held my breath. <laughs> yeah, I think I like the idea Bad of this jobs. sort of Ben Riar thing. You know, it's more suited to the type of brain I've got, because I haven't got a brain like Dr. Nakamats, have I? Yeah, I like out, you know, outside work in the garden, uh, painting, painting windowsills, skirting board, cleaning windows. Oh, little right. jobs, just little jobs around the house that I know need doing. I just don't want to get to that point where you have a job and you, you're putting stuff right for every, everyone else, but you never have time to sort your own problems out. It's kind of like hairdressers. They make everyone else's hair look good, but normally hairdressers' hair looks fucking stupid because they haven't had time to do it themselves and I suppose they can't cut their own hair. If your barber's got a good haircut, you want to ask him where he's going. It's like Nicky Clark, isn't it? That's why he's a well-known hairdresser. He's got terrible hair. So this is Ben Rihar, sort of odd job man. He's actually on the phone taking another job in at the moment. He can do all sorts, cleaning, painting. He said fixing stuff now and again. Little perks, get given gifts from, you know, from people. Cheers for doing that, do you want this? He obviously can't say no. Well, then you can't move in here. What was that, what was the job? The owner's cat fell off from the veranda into the neighbor's roof. So the job was to go up and save the cat. But if it's their cat and they love it, why aren't they getting on the balcony and getting the cat? Why are they calling you? They said, please come urgently. All in one. I'll put it on. It's the right size, isn't it? What's the right size? Oh, they found the cat. They found it? Yeah, I was just saying. They found it, it was just in their living room. <laughs> Idiots. Hey. <laughs> this cat's cross-eyed. I've never seen that before. It's because it's trying to focus on stuff in here. <laughs> so the first job we're doing is a, a cleaning job. Now that we know that cat's safe. But you know, the, the exciting thing with this job is you don't know what job's coming next. You know, how many jobs can you say that about? Konnichiwa. Hi, Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. When were these last cleaned? Because they're a bit filthy. It's a bit odd that she stood there watching. She might as well do it herself. Looking good. Good? Good? Cheeky bastard. It would have been nice to get offered a, a brew. I thought that would have happened as soon as I come in. Please do it properly. <gasps> oh, 
Careful, shirt. mate. I didn't hit it. Shh. This is why it doesn't work. Why do they have paper? All these little tasks are done to perfection, aren't they? Well, not really. Perfection would be ripping that A4 paper out and putting in a new one. It's just a bit of a bodge, isn't it? I think it is the sort of thing that I could do and be quite happy with, but is that class as a vocation? See, these vocations that always have to be something a bit arty or something a bit worthy. This is just a job that I quite enjoy doing. Has she got a newspaper? It's traditional British way. It's got to get away. That good? <laughs> Tell you what, thirsty work though. Cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> she's laughing, but she's not getting a finger out. <laughs> I think we're losing our way a little bit at home when it comes to work. It's all about what you can tell your mates you're doing to impress. Because I always look at jobs just to see what new things are coming out. And there was a gastro hygiene attendant or something. <laughs> no, it was. Washing up pots. Yeah. Washing up, washing up, and it's that thing of, we'll make it sound good. What's the point? Because it does sound impressive, that, a gastro hygiene technician or something. But then someone's going to go, oh, that, bloody hell, what's that, that's that, that's that. Tell me about it, what do, you, what do you do? Wash up pots. You should be chuffed with yourself that you're not sat on your ass <laughs> just claiming benefit. You're working. I tell you what, though, he's not short of work, is he? I mean, that phone of his hasn't stopped ringing all morning. So he's just going to go off and do one job and let me get on with another. Manu? Yes. Hey, I'm Carl. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? Fine. Right. Yeah. They are waiting for you and you want to pick out your uh, clothes and your job is uh, will be a nude model. <laughs> that girl was also from India last week and she came here uh, as a nude model. So today you'll the same job, uh, one post for 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm not doing nude. You see, I, I don't look like that. Oh. That's a very nice look she's got yeah, going thank on. You. I don't look like that. Oh, yeah, it's okay. They need to study about different kind of bodies. They have no chance to draw an uh, English person. Can I just have a, a, a word? Because I'm not, uh, <laughs> not getting nude. <laughs> no. Would you want me nude on your wall at home? Right, and I wouldn't. And it's me. <laughs> I don't like looking at all that. If I take my pants off in there, they'll, they'll quit art and take up science or something once they've seen me nude. They won't want to do it. <laughs> this is what this job is, Ben Riyar. It's not. I've has. never heard of it, honestly. Never heard of ben I've never Riyar. heard of someone going, I've had a busy week. What have you been doing? Waxing floors, cleaning windows, got my cock out. What <laughs> job is that? <laughs> <laughs> you got <a> time. <laughs> they are very, they are very happy. Are they? Yeah, very perfect model. What me? Yeah. I never thought in my head uh, that I'd ever sort of do some modelling. You know, just because you, you sort of, I don't know, you see yourself in the mirror, don't you? And you go, oh, I can't do that. Who's going to want to draw that? <laughs> they were loving it. You know what I mean? I'm like a 1970s brute advert. So it just goes to show that you never know really what your vocation might be because you might you might sort of close doors on stuff that you wouldn't even consider. I look good. Have you seen this? I look all right. Yeah. I think you're happy to see your drawing. I would have that on my wall actually. Yeah, yeah, take back what I said. The day's been worthwhile. Stuff's got done. And it's a good feeling. Like, <laughs> they're really good. Nice. They're yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit annoying yeah. that the blokes have made me look good. Ah, yeah. The women see me in a different way. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I 
I'm just on my way to meet a bloke called Kenny, who uh, he basically grew up in the slums, uh, turned his life around, made a load of money, and now he enjoys spending it. But the thing is, you start earning money, and it doesn't... I don't know, you, you can get a bit get a bit daft with it, can't you? You don't know how money's going to affect you. If I won the lottery tomorrow, and I don't do it because it's too hard, isn't it? It's impossible. <laughs> but if I did, I do not know what would happen. I know there'd be arguments. I think winning a load of money would cause headaches at home because Suzanne would have... She'd be wanting holidays all the time. And I don't want to go away, do I? I'm never at home as it is. At the moment, I say, we can't afford it. We can't afford to go away. If I win, like, two million quid on the lottery, I can't say we can't afford it. She's going, what are you on about? With what? What's the point in having the money if we're not spending it? It's like, yeah, but I'm knackered. I want to stay at home. I bought a nice house and we're never in it. Oh, I don't know, I'm sick of this. Before you know it, you're falling out and, you know, you've ended up with some tart. It's Carl to see Kenny. Oh, the security. Are you Kenny? No, I'm not Kenny. He is expecting me. What a load of pissing about, isn't it? Can you imagine that? If, if you're his mate, you've got to go through this every time you come and see how he is. I'd never visit him. <laughs> oh, you're having a laugh. All right, how are you doing? Are you Kenny? No, I'm Sage. Oh, I see Yeah, that's what I've come for, yeah. <laughs> Afternoon. All right. What is going on? Right, I can see him now. Oh, I can make my way, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Afternoon. I take it you're Kenny? Hi, how are you, Carl? Hi, I'm all right, yeah. I'm very well, thank you. Maybe you should sit and check out my chair. Aren't they beautiful? What, what are these? Are these girlfriends or Yes, partners? girlfriends. <laughs> this was there. Of course, yeah, I think hot, you've been in. Burning head, yeah, getting a red head. <laughs> I'm also bald. That's why oh, I always right, right, you cover it, yeah. You need to enjoy the fine things in life, Carl. I used to drink a hundred rands bottle, which should be about ten pounds. This is 15,000 pounds. To get all this, you're not stupid. So I don't understand how you can be happy handing over 15,000 pounds for their drink. <laughs> you must also have something that you can be driven in when you want to relax. Sit in, please. Or maybe not that side. Let's go this side. Shit's on my shoes. Just sit in there. Oh, is he going out? Oh, I climbed across. I suppose you don't do that. You don't see the Queen do that, do you? <laughs> Carl, why do you want to sit on a steering wheel? Give your focus to the road when you can sit at the back, have somebody worrying about that, and you give the woman that you love attention. A taxi. But a cab does not have this comfort. No, I, I, honestly, cab, it is comfy. I'll give you that. Cab. It's really nice. Do you know what I'd stress out yes. now? Right? If I was you, I'd be annoyed because I bought this really nice car. Right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't fit in your garage. No, because oh, it's hanging out the back. <laughs> we have to go into the pool. I'll just uh, roll up my things, take my Good. shoes off. All right. Sit on the Ladies. edge. Yeah. I'm like a duck, me. I'm happy just getting my feet wet. Oh, it's cold. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, fucking no. hell. Is it cold? cold. Yeah! It's this scene now. Me sat here, women in a pool, champagne. Do you want this because you've seen it in a film or is it what you want? No, this is what I want. Never been a fan of champagne. I told him I don't like it because it gives me heartburn. The other reason I don't like it is because you take the cork off, the cork shot off, isn't it? What happens <laughs> if I don't want it all? Pringles, they say once you pop, you can't stop. Well, they still give you a lid. Uh, uh, the cars have arrived. I mean, he's got two Porsches, he's got a Bentley, he's got that Rolls Royce, and he's looking at buying another one. I mean, he's got more cars than I've got shoes. I haven't driven it before. This is the first time that I'm test driving it. I believe you have one car. Maybe, all right, get two. Have a van. A car and a van in case you need to shift some things. Oh, Bloody hell, Kenny. Oh, forget it. That's the first time he'd seen that car. He's gone up there and back. He's going, yeah, I'll have it. Uh, How fast is that? <laughs> That's 170. I spend longer than that when I'm, I'm buying a VAC. Let's think about buying a Dyson. They're not cheap. They're like the top VAC. So I looked them up. Different models. All that, looking at the reviews. Right, I've had enough. 
Seriously, fuck me. People were saying the handle on it wasn't very big to get your hand in. Does, that, does anyone else say that? Maybe it was just a bloke with big knuckles. <laughs> that, that isn't funny. <laughs> I take time before I buy something. That's part of the enjoyment for me. <laughs> And I bought it, and I'm very happy with it. It comes with like a wall bracket, uh, it's wireless. Uh, you plug it in, you get 15 minutes before you have to plug it in again. That isn't great, but I've accepted it. <laughs> you don't have to get anywhere that fast. Just leave the house earlier. <laughs> I just want to show you where I come from and why I'm enjoying my money. He's got an incredible life. But, you know, look, look at today. He bought that McLaren. Did you, did you see any sort of excitement from him? If I'd bought something like that, I'd be, I'd be over the moon all afternoon. I'd want, to, I'd want to get rid of us so I can play out in it. But he was like that. He was like, next, let's move on to the next thing. He wanted to show me the township in helicopter, which is weird. Because it like, you could have just gone on Google Maps, looked at Street View. You don't need to go up in helicopter. But it's Kenny again, isn't it? Taking it to that next level of don't do things the simple way. What's the most expensive, glamorous way of doing it? I don't mind the helicopter because you can land anywhere. A private jet can only land at the airport. Yeah, it's, it's not a dilemma I've had that. <laughs> <laughs>Good, isn't it? This is what having money is about. A bit of peace and quiet, good view. So you get people at home who sit on their arse all the time and don't want to work. But then the funny thing is the people who work really hard, they work really hard so they can sit on their arse. It's just that you want to sit on your arse in a nicer surrounding. We all just want to sit on our arse. <laughs> There's some guys who have popped in to see you. They sent through from Kenny. Are you ready to look at some amazing watches? We have here one of our limited edition uh, models from Chopard, uh, together with the Miller Miller racing pens and cufflinks. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't wear watches you don't at wear all. You watches. I don't Why bother. don't you wear watches? Uh, just because I've got my phone and I really don't need cufflinks. I don't buy a shirt. If it doesn't come with buttons, I think it's cheeky, <laughs> that. I think it's really cheeky. It's not a, a, a finished shirt, is it? You've got to start buying buttons for it. You might as well leave the collar off, sell it in bits. Well, it's a personal preference. All right, so still going. Your, uh, right. And a pen, a pen for me. I'll always have a pen. <laughs> uh, all the flights I do, I always take the free pens. So that, that does the job. It's a beautiful gift, let's say, that some for people, some people appreciate. That's fine, yeah. Yes. How much so. was that watch on its own without the pen? 99,000. <laughs> How much is this one? It's around 171,000 rand. It sort of annoys me a little bit that these people who are pay, who's paying that for a watch. Well, you would be surprised. Uh, some people can actually appreciate um, the research, the studies, because uh, watchmaking is an art. It used to be. I mean, it's not hard now. We've got it men is. on the moon. Bleeding hell. The size <laughs> of that! How much is that one? Uh, it's, it's something stupid, Ben. You no point asking. So thanks well, for coming. Bell's going. Maggie? So we should leave you yeah. something. Thank you very much. Nice Cheers. to meet you. I'm ready now. Good luck telling them. Oh, excuse me. Do you want me to undress you? No, no, you're all right. Oh, okay. no, honestly. Oh, okay, sure. I mean, this still is quite nice. What I've seen today, I've seen on billboards. You buy some of these men's magazines. That's all it is, isn't it? Advert after advert. Some bloke in a pair of trunks with a watch on in the rain. 
uh, it doesn't. I don't look at it and go, oh, I'd, oh one day. Can I just bring yeah, you some just tea pop for you? Yeah, just tea there. Uh, some milk already. No, that's fine. That's ideal, there. Eh? Okay, sure. sure. Lovely. Sure. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. It just goes to show, doesn't it? You can have so much money that you don't know what to do with it, and then you just end up buying crap. <laughs> On Bond Street, there's some bags made out of ostrich stuff like that. It just surprised all the fuss that Noah went to, saving the animals two by two. They're making handbag out of ostrich. He wasted his time, didn't he? <laughs> Lewis? Yes? Do you want to shoot off? No, I'm not off. I'm still around. No, 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 but you can go if you want. I haven't, I haven't got anything that I need to do in, honestly. <laughs> you can call it a day. OK, sure. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you later, Lewis. You don't have a butler these days. I felt like I had to give him some stuff to do because he's there and that's his job. But I've got nothing for him to do. At one point, I was thinking, well, I'll send him out for a Twix. <laughs> Batman. He's the only man who I sort of, I've seen with a butler and I thought, well, yeah, he probably needs one. He's always been called out, hasn't he? Sorting out problems. He hasn't got time to make sure he's got food in the fridge and everything. Other than that, I don't know what I've learned from this, really. <laughs> All I know is I don't want anything really expensive. But I like the views, the natural views. I've got everything I need. A city view, sea, table mountain. That's, that's what's good about this. If you didn't have any windows, it'd be pretty horrible, wouldn't it? So I'm, I'm, I'm relying on nature. You can't beat nature, can you? And that doesn't cost anything. <laughs> Can you just look behind my ears? Because sometimes they're a bit sore. It's like they dry just right behind the ear. Is it cracked? Cracked skin. This is where I'm going to meet Caton, and he's going to teach me how to hustle. Nobody has hustling as a vocation, do they? I think it's what you do when times are tough, when things aren't quite working out, and you need some money. This is where it all started. What, for, for you as uh, Kenny as well? For myself and Kenny. We started here by buying fish and selling the fish for more than we bought it eventually. And we're going to start like where we started. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did a little bit of sort of buying and selling as a kid. Why don't you try to negotiate? How much did you pay? How much did you? 300. How about a little bit less? Because I'm only here for a few days. I've never been before, and I might come back on holiday and buy some more fish. Well, you some pass? Yeah. What about a little bit less, though? Well, the guys are stored at 30 in, so we keep it in this. I'm not making profit on you, though. Oh, I don't know about this. Is there any other fish markets around here? Don't do that to me now. I've, I've got to go. I've got, I'm getting okay. a better deal. 29 I was thinking 26. You really calm. Really? All right, I believe her eyes. Her eyes are good. Is it? Yeah. All right. Well, let's pay the. Uh, this is forty-five. Forty-five. Forty-five, and you can get fifty then for this. She's changing the rules there. Eh? Oh, get the market. So if she changes, you change it. They've got out of negotiation. Right. Well, hang on you then. Move with them. Look, I tell you what. I want. I want forty quid's worth of fish. So how much is that in rand? Four hundred rand. Right. I want. £400,000 worth of fish cut up. £400,000? 400,000 rand? No, you don't. <laughs> oh, what do I want? <laughs> right, what do you want? Well, I'll give you £400,000 worth of fish. Right, 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 all started with this fish. At the end of the day, the way I look at sales is they either want a fish or they don't. Simple as that. People make out it's harder than it is. Snook! Want some snook? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Do you want some snook? 85 a fish. 85 a fish. It's a nice one. Look at that. No, this is too much. This looks like a 20 fish for me. I can sell you one for. For 80? No, I've got fish already. Do you want to buy Snook? No, man, but the water is ready. You get paid Friday? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, my back's killing me. You can't carry that, can you? Just a bit heavy on me, own. What's happening here? She knows the area. You employed her? Yes. Fresh Snook. Look at that, please look at that. It's small. 
That's just that so much bouncing for the children. It's got too much work for the children. Bounce, bounce. You're not supposed to get a small one. I didn't do it, it's another. You can go to sale to get a small thing like that. Sick of this. It's not happening, is it? I can't make it cheaper. I paid 50. I paid 50 for a fish. I can't sell it cheaper than that. I know, but that's in the centre. You've got to get on a bus. How much is that going to cost? It's not cheaper. It won't be cheaper. You've got to get a bus there. You've got to get a bus back. You have to make it cheaper. I can't drop the price. It's not going to happen. The lowest I can do is 50. So if you want to buy one for 50, we can talk. Make me feel like a right tit. That's hustling. Buying something for cheap, selling it for more. It's business, actually. It's not hustling. That's business, isn't it? That's, that's how you do business. Gayton. It's not happening. No one's got any money. They got paid last Friday or something. Uh, who's this? I don't know how Gayton managed it. You're probably scared of him. Look at the size of him. If he came knocking on your door and said, buy some fish, you'd buy some fish. But when you talk, you scare people. I do. Selling is not only with your mouth. It is with your body. It is with your attitude. It is how you move. It wouldn't work at home. There's no way in this world you'd be allowed to just earn money just like that. There's always someone there now with a clipboard. Ever since clipboards have come out, that's, that's created hassle, hasn't it? Anyone with a clipboard, it's, it's never good news. Will she buy him back off me at the market? Never. 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 <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever, I've ever asked to say, will you buy back my stuff? <laughs> Never. You're not going to get any sort of entrep what's it called? entrepreneurs. It's not going to happen at home. Because <laughs> it's too much hassle. You're trying, you've got someone there slapping your ass. Get back down again. Who do you think you are? That's why they have to go on the Dragon's Den. The Dragon's Den wasn't around years ago. You could just get on with it. But now you can't do anything unless you've got Duncan Bannon time. <laughs> I was rubbish, I know I wasn't very good. No, no, you were rubbish, no? But I never want you to forget one thing. You might have been rubbish, but you're still better than the guy that sat at home and did nothing. Because trying is better than not trying at all. See you tonight. All right. Thank you. Good one. Cheers, man. See you later on. I don't know. I don't know if it is better than... Not trying, really, because I'm actually out of pocket. It's a nice sort of fable that he came up with there, but it's definitely not better than staying at home. <laughs> and I've got a load of old fish I've got to get shut off. Do you want a free fish? <laughs> Gate and wants to take me out clubbing. It's my own fault, because I sort of said, you know, you still haven't told me what you do. He said, oh, I'm going to take you out, you'll see what we do, we run a club. And it's annoying because I'm in this place, which I really like. Five grand a night, I've hardly been here. I'm flogging fish all day, that's why I'm washing my hands, I stink. Used to be a girl at school called Tracy, she worked in a chippy, she always stunk fish. It's bad that, isn't it? When you, you, that's, that's when your job really is sort of taking over your life, isn't it? I'm going to surprise for you. Is it? Don't you like this? What's all this about? Very beautiful lady, eh? This is the jacket I wore the first time I ate sushi. You can take it from the pussy, yeah. or from the breasts, or from the stomach, wherever you choose. Right. No hands. This is how you do it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm all right. I can get no, I can pick you up. No, 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 no. Why? no, no What's it all about? You what can't eat like, You can't eat like that. I don't want to eat off a woman. I don't, I don't even know her name. Oh, you don't know her name. What's it? What's your name? Pam. Pam. Very Pam. nice to meet you. Not well, Pam. Honestly, Pam. Don't don't be offended. She's I just offended. don't want to be. She's, she's not offended. offended. She is. Well, let me get to know her a bit first. Ask if I'm going to eat food off a tits, let me get to know her. <laughs> I mean, is that what it's come to? Look how look how I struggle today flogging fish. Look how difficult it is. Look what you've got to do to get people to have fish. One bite. Maybe later. No, we have to do it now. Why? What, what's the rush? It's getting hot in here. Well, that's why sushi. it should be in a fridge. One bite won't kill you. It's not about killing me. I just don't like sushi. OK, kiss it. OK, kiss it. I don't want to kiss fish. <laughs> what sort of night is this? I thought it was a classy joint. <laughs> 12 hours on a plane. Like, over 5,000 miles all this way, and you've got me licking fish. 
No, it's not. I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Now. <laughs> Is that a good earner? Yeah. What are the hours like? Well, it depends. Any perks? Do you get to take home what hasn't been eaten or...? <laughs> Don't laugh, you're going to lose a bit. It is weird how it's sort of come to that. I don't know if it's because there's now too many people in the world and they've just got to come up with more and more jobs because of the population. It's just mental, isn't it? That's why you've got women lying down, food all over them. <laughs> or you can eat Buffy because all the normal jobs are being taken up. The National Lottery on the telly. Like three people to select six balls. So unnecessary. You've got a bloke there with a clipboard, a fellow with a white glove, and a bloke to hit the button on the machine. Three people to select six numbers. The world's gone mental. <laughs> in terms of vocation, <laughs> different jobs in the world, it's a job. Sort of better than sitting on your ass, but she is sitting on her ass, but she's being paid for it. And that's what I said at the start of the day. And that's what we all want, really, isn't it? <laughs> I just didn't want to lick the fish. So, what I want to see today is, you know, it's this whole thing of coming to America and living the dream and doing what, you know, whatever job you want to do. I want to see if that is true. I want to look at a job that, in a way, I know deep down I'm not cut out for, and I want to see how I'd get on that doing that job. So what are you going to do? I'm going to have a go at being a model. <laughs> like a proper, proper model. I don't mean like the modelling I did in Japan. Like the Ben Riar thing, sort of half nude modelling. I'm talking catwalk model. That is a job, isn't it? That it doesn't matter how much you want to do it. If you haven't got the look, they're not going to let you do it. So what'll happen is she'll come out. Boom. Walk. That's what I'm talking about. Ow, ow. We're making them all walk right now, and we'll see timing. We'll see how they're going about it, and then we'll put you into the mix towards the end, and you can test it out. Click, 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 click. So don't smile, then. I'm not smiling. Just, just... But you're not scowling, either. So what, what, how, would you how would you describe that um... to me, how to do that face? What is it? I tell them to think about smiling without smiling. Smile without smiling. <laughs> think about it. No caveman. Keep it upright. Your mouth doesn't need to be open. Like I, I, it always is. <laughs> Keep your arms uh, simple. So remember you're a half step in front of her. No over swinging. Relax. It looks like you're furring your, like... Oh, oh, oh. Try not to swing your arms oh, not quite so much. All right. <laughs> Would you give me a gig with that head? Probably not. I probably wouldn't book you. Gets a little monkey. A little bit monkey. You're saying go out and be confident. How can I be confident when you just said that? you got arms of a monkey. Why say that? If he wants me to walk out there tonight, <laughs> really, like, confident, I've got that going round in my head. I've got arms of a monkey. Cheers. Brilliant. <laughs> if I nailed this walk, why is this bit so important to you? If they should be looking at that bit? You are creating something beyond for these people. And if you present it in such a way, it's like, I want to wear that, I want to feel like that, I want to be like that. But I'm never going to be like that. I've got a fat head, there's nothing I can do about it. It's not my fault. I can do nothing about this. This was created <laughs> by, you know, my mum and dad. I've done nothing towards this. Even if I wanted to have a thinner head, say if I really, really wanted to be a model, how do you go about losing weight off your head? No one's ever brought out a DVD. Have you got a fat head? Do a workout. What do you do? 
All this here. That's Twix and lemon muffins. <laughs> what workout? What can you do? <laughs> By the end of the day, he didn't like it, did he? He was sort of saying, you just, I wouldn't book you. They, those were his words, I wouldn't book you. <laughs> so there you go. So if I wanted to be a model, I couldn't be a model. So, you know, sometimes there's no point chasing your dreams. with the crotch I don't know I don't know why that's I mean for me it's handy they're all laughing in there saying oh you're a bit old to, to be a model I'm 40 as you get older your balls drop right if there's one man in there who should be wearing these pants it is me honestly I'm touching cloth there <laughs> oh my gosh it's amazing yeah yeah that's awesome yes Really? So good. So good? Yeah, it really is. So would you give me a job? Oh. You, I'm gonna let you look in a mirror. That's really slick. It's sharp. Oh my gosh. Okay, yes. What, are you happy then? I am really excited. Can you just step back to the dressing room and walk? Yeah, we're golden. Oh my gosh. We're golden. Yes. <laughs> Initially, he wasn't convinced. Suddenly, I put his suit on, he's over the moon, I finished the walk, he was happy with it, he was going, you rocked it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Josh. I'm so proud yes. of you. It was so good. I, yeah. so I saw you me. walking down and I was like, he did it. Yeah. He did it. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, he learned. And then, thanks to everybody. Seriously, good job. No, good job. Good job. Good job. Nice I had no idea that I could do this as a job. It wasn't even in my head before we started this trip, being a model. <laughs> so, what 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 for learn? I've just learned that you give anything a go. If an opportunity comes along, give it a go, because you never know. <laughs> when I was in Cape Town and I met Pam, the sushi girl, I had never heard of that job before. Not everybody likes fish, so I've opened it up like a, it's the Buffy man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was uh, that was episode four of season one, vocation and money. I think he spent more time trying out you know money than, than you know being rich than other things you know like different jobs. Well, he tried a couple of jobs, but yeah, you know, he spent more time living in the lap luxury there. <laughs> like I said, uh, we're gonna go on with this series. Most people seem to stop abruptly at see at episode four i don't think i'm going to be any different this is episode four i'm going to try episode five and see what it happens with that and if i can break through but i don't have a lot of confidence with that one thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you're going to like the video subscribe to the channel and well we'll see you on the next one have a nice day